If you've purchased Band in a Box, depending on the package and the option you went for, you may have received it on a hard drive, a flash drive, DVD, or a download. If you've purchased Band in a Box on a flash drive, DVD, or download, we have different tutorials for you. This tutorial will focus on installing from a hard drive. If you order Band in a Box on an external hard drive, you'll receive one portable hard drive and one USB connection cable for installation. In this video, we are installing Band in a Box Ultra Pack for Windows. A complete installation requires 120 gigabytes of free hard drive space, which includes over 2,500 hours of studio musician recordings in thousands of different styles. When installing the software, you will be given four options for installation. Option one, run Band in a Box directly from the USB hard drive. This is the minimal installation that requires about 50 megabytes of free hard drive space. Only the synth plugins and the fonts are installed to your internal drive leaving the software and the content library on the external drive. And it is this option that we will be discussing in this video. Option two, install the Band in a Box software on your internal drive, but leave the real tracks on the external drive. This installation requires about 50 gigabytes of free hard drive space. Option three, complete installation. This installs both Band in a Box and real band programs, as well as the complete real tracks library to your internal drive. This installation requires about 120 gigabytes of free hard drive space and is the recommended installation if you have the available space. Option four, custom installation. This installation is for advanced users and allows you to choose exactly which components you would like to install. The amount of hard drive space required will vary. This is also very helpful if you just need to reinstall one particular component. If you have decided on one of the other three options for installation, please stop this video and refer to the video that applies to your installation choice. You can find these videos by navigating to the video section of our support page on the PG Music website at www.pgmusic.com. First, you will need to connect the external hard drive to your computer using the USB cable. The USB cable includes three separate connectors. Connector A plugs into the USB port on the external hard drive. Connector B connects directly into your computer's USB port. Connector C is only used if you need to connect a second USB to your computer for additional power to run the external hard drive. Once you have the hard drive connected to your computer via USB, Windows Autoplay should open the drive in Windows Explorer automatically. If the drive does not autoplay, you can locate the drive by navigating to this PC in Explorer. Double click the external drive icon to open it. Each hard drive will have a folder labeled BB which includes all the necessary files to run Band in a Box directly from the hard drive. The drive will also have a documentation folder. Inside you will find the program manuals, license, as well as some additional readme files. Inside the folder labeled PG Music, you will find the individual installers for each component of the installation. Your hard drive will also have a folder labeled RealBand. This includes all the necessary files to run RealBand directly from the hard drive. There will also be an auto run file, a couple readme and data files, also band in a box and real band icons to start the programs, and a setup file for installation. When you are ready to begin the installation, double click the setup file. You will be prompted with the setup wizard, which features information on the installation process. You can press next. On the next screen, you will see a list of components to install. Select full installation and click next. You will then receive an initialization setup message. This will only take a moment. If you are upgrading from a previous version of Band in a Box, be sure that the program is not running in the background during installation. Next, you will see the PG Music License Agreement. Accept the agreement and press Next. Now you will see a list of all four install options. In this video, we will be using option one, run Band in a Box directly from the USB hard drive. Click Next. Make sure the first setup option is selected and press next again. Now press install. This will only install the synths, plugins, and fonts to your computer, leaving the remainder of the software on the external drive. This minimal installation won't take long. When the first set of installers have completed, click finish. The setup wizard will then install the high Q instruments and the amplitude plugins if you opted to install these. Once the installations are complete, press finish again. You can now start Band in a Box from your icon on the external drive.
First, you will need to activate the software. Go to the Help menu and select Activate Band in a Box. For the first 30 days, you can skip this by selecting Activate Later. Or if you have a serial number ready, just click Activate Now. Enter your serial number into the field and click Activate. Be sure to include the dashes in your serial number and you're done. Band in a Box is ready to use. If your computer is not connected to the internet, you will see an error message when you click Activate. You will need to do a manual activation. Just click OK and you will be given a request number. Now just call our toll-free line at 1-800-268-6272. Have your serial number and your request number ready and one of our PG Music customer service representatives will provide you with an activation code over the phone. Once you have that activation number, just click Manual Activation and enter the activation number you were given. Then just hit the Activate button and Band in a Box is now activated. Now you are going to want to open up your Style Picker. You will then be prompted to rebuild the master list. Click Yes. This will take some time. Once this has completed, you can close the Style Picker. If you have upgraded from a previous version of Band in a Box, you will want to check that your Real Tracks and Real Drums directories are set correctly. Locate the Real Tracks button and select Real Tracks Preferences. If you install the Real Tracks directly to your internal drive, make sure the Real Tracks directories match the location set during the installation. If you left your Real Tracks and Real Drums on your external drive, you will need to set up your custom directory. Check the box that reads Use Custom Real Tracks Folder, and then click the folder icon. Navigate to the external drive and open the BB folder. Select the Real Tracks folder and press OK. Then click Update. You will want to do the same for the Real Drums as well. Click the Real Drums icon, select Real Drums Preferences, check Use a Custom Folder for the Real Drums, click the Folder icon. Navigate to the external drive, open the BB folder, click on the Drums folder and press OK. Click Update and you're done. Thanks for watching the Band in a Box hard drive installation option 4 tutorial. Have fun!